Hello, this is Dalia again, and I'm reading The Struggle, Vampire Diaries. This is um, chapter 15, and I'm on part 2. She half expected Bonnie or Meredith to follow her, but she was glad they didn't. The parking lot was full of cars, but almost empty of people. Most of the families were staying for the afternoon activities. But a battered Ford sedan was parked nearby, and a familiar figure was unlocking the door. Matt, are you leaving? She made her decision instantly. It was too cold to walk all the way to the boarding house. Huh? No, I've got to help Coach Lyman take the tables down. I was just putting this away. He tossed the outstanding athlete place card into the front seat. Hey, are you okay? His eyes widened at the sight of her face. Yes. N no. I, I will be if I can get out of here. Look, can I take your car just for a little while? Well, sure, but I know. Why don't you let me drive you? I'll go tell Coach Lyman. No, I just want to be alone. Oh, please don't ask any questions. She almost snatched the keys out of his hand. I'll bring it back soon, I promise. Or Stefan will. If you see Stefan, tell him I'm at the boarding house. And thanks. She slammed the door on his protest and revved the engine pulling out with a clash of gears because she wasn't used to a stick shift. She left him standing there staring after her. She drove without really seeing or hearing anything. Outside crying, locked in her own spinning tornado of emotions, she and Stefan would run away. They would elope. They would show everyone she would never set foot in Fell's church again. And then Aunt Judith would be sorry. Then Robert would see how wrong he'd been. But Elena would never forgive them, never. As for Elena herself, she didn't need anybody. She certainly didn't need stupid old Robert E. Lee. Or you could go from being mega popular to being a social para in one day just for loving the wrong person. She didn't need any family or any friends either. Slowing down to cruise up the winding driveway of the boarding 